Hello, this is Double A with another MyNBA 2K20 video for the date of Monday, September 2nd. Hope you guys are having a great one. If you do like this video, throw a like on it, subscribe as well. After you do that, a couple of minutes to the left, tap on that bell icon for future notifications of the video, of uh, videos that I do. So always go for the three-point shot with the liking, the subscribing, and finalizing it with those notifications if you have not done so already. NBA 2K20, my initial thoughts of it. I did do a video opening day, but I wasn't too happy with it because I was in the right framework of mind. I sounded like I was really not enthused at it by all. It was just having that kind of day, and I just never got around to making another video of the first day. Been busy with school, been busy with work, been busy with family. Just having that time to step away, do a video, and christen off NBA 2K20 the way I wish I the way I would have wanted. it. Um, I plan on waiting until until the first event to do I guess my first video, but decided to get this done sooner than that. Give you an idea where things are standing right now. Um, got your logins. Been doing pretty well with logins. Um, I'm on a team currently that I was in in 2K19 that be two ballers. Lots of great people on this team. We're, it's like they're very well organized. They have an idea where to put people, um, how to get the gameplay, things of that nature. Great to be with them. Um, what else? <clears throat> so, um, there are things that I'm planning on doing throughout this season of 2K20. I'm not 100% sure with regards to life and all that, but I might try some new things that I don't think I've attempted before. So keep watch on that. Plus, I'm gonna enjoy doing these videos um, for the main reason that basically you need more YouTube creators for NBA 2K20. Supercard got tons of them, tons of them, but not too many people giving, giving publicity to this side of Cat Daddy Games. Myself, my thoughts with regards to this game, one of them anyway, is that NBA 2K20 needs a new community manager. I'd be more than happy to, I'd be more happy to do it. I've actually put my name up for it. Because basically, I will, I, personally, I like to be the Dan and Davis of NBA 2K20 because this game, in terms of its early days, was fun and exciting to get into. If you've been with the game for a while, you know who Dan and Dav Davis is, NWA Game Dan. Whenever events would come, you know something would be up when he puts a tweet on his page like a clue. Like if I were to say this guy brings your letters to you every day, except Sunday, you'll think mailman. And automatically you'll think the main event, the event card for that week is the mailman Carl Malone from the Utah Jazz. Or whatever team he's playing for, or whatever <laughs> at that time. But I wish I could bring that back. I would love to be part of that. So it's like you you re, you get the tweets and you're thinking, oh yeah, it's gonna it's it's on. I I, I, I wish I had that oppor opportunity to get into that and make it happen for this game because, in my opinion, and I know this isn't gonna get me invited to Cat Daddy Games, but. The community manager that they have over there really doesn't do much. I mean, we heard about an NBA 2K20 after the fact. And the only time we really hear from the community manager on that side is whenever there's a teardrop. But never really hear from them any other time of the game. Supercard on the other hand, WWE Supercard that is. They have tweets going on pretty much every week telling you what's coming up in the upcoming month. Um, telling you this, that, and the other about the game, keep, keep it pretty keeping you up to date with stuff that's happening, whether it be events or updates software wise or what have you. There's always that update, but we really don't get that feeling or sensation from the NBA 2K20 side of it. So, and myself, initial thoughts of 2K20, it's basically. Looks must looks basically like a copy and paste of 2K19, although we don't know what's planned for 2K20 in the upcoming months, but so far it feels like just a copy and paste. 
Myself, I wasn't around for all of 2K19, but I'm going to hope to be a presence within this 2K20 season that we have now. Myself, I don't even follow the current basketball scene. Though I did follow back in the old days when you had John Stockton, you had Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, those legends in making that were putting their footsteps and fingerprints on the game so that when you look back, you look at all these classic legends, all these stars that made the game worth watching and worth following in the NBA. So, so anything else that I could go in today, as it stands right now, ladder reward wise, right now I'm at Epic Prime. I've been getting cards from basically the usual ways, the spinners, the the, the free stuff, etc. Ladder reward, I am about I'm about a few hundred games from well, about eight hundred or so, about a little under eight hundred to my one thousand point reward. Uh, no correction, about two eighty ish for my five hundred game reward. Usually with this, I've been playing nothing but raining threes and the two by and the two versus two is that. And with the ads as well, it's allowed me to pick up so many cards and get so many resets. That it's allowed me to move up to where I'm at now. Um, through one of the spinners, I was lucky and fortunate to get a, 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 a get into here. Stop playing with me. So yeah, through one of the spinners, I was lucky to get a Draymond Green. There is the Pro Player Pro award that I still have in my thing. I might I might wind up booting it on him. Unless I get lucky between now and later in terms of probably getting an Elite Pro through a spinner. I have a day left to do that, but otherwise it's looking like in all possibility that he'll be the one that pros me, that I'll pro him, and then move up to the latter portions of Epic Prime. So get more resets, more cards, etc. This week, uh, let's just see how that goes. Not sure what the first event for this is, but typically it's always a rivals clash unless they're that set in their pattern in terms of their cycle, in terms of whatever the next game is. But usually first game in is a rivals clash. So that's what I'm going to be anticipating this week and playing this weekend. So if we'll find out more later in the week, typically that gets done after the player pro thing goes away. Because I'm sure they don't want you to do a player pro on your very first event card. So, so like I said, I'm anticipating a Rivals Clash this weekend. But I'll keep you up to date later in the week. So if you have any comments, feel free to drop them in the box below. I read them all and try to respond appropriately in kind to them. So be sure to do that. Once again, like, subscribe, and click all those notifications. Keep up to date. And until my next video, thanks for joining me today. And as Casey Kasem would say... Keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. Goodbye, everybody.